Hey everyone, today we are going to learn about the rules of exponents. So take out your lesson worksheet if you have it. If not, take out a sheet of loose leaf paper and a pencil so you can copy down the rules and examples as we go through the lesson. Let's get started. Here's the problem. Simplify each expression. Write each answer using exponents. So we have four rules that we're going to learn today, all down the side here. And we are going to fill in these examples on the top, right, these six examples in the places where they belong on the right. Okay, let's start with the first one. So the first one, the first rule is when we are multiplying or dividing expressions that have the same base. So let's look at this list here and let's find some expressions that have the same base, right? Remember the base is the large number and the exponent is the little number. All right, if I look at this first example here, I have three squared times three to the eighth. They both have the same base. So I'm gonna copy that down in this space right here because I am looking for expressions that have the same base. Um, no, no, not the same, right? 15 and a 3, no. Oh, look, here's another one, same base. Okay, I'm going to copy that one in this space. So I have 7 to the 5th power divided by 7 to the 3rd power. All right, now that I have these copied, let's go back and let's look at our rules. When I am multiplying with the same base, I am going to keep the base and I'm going to add the exponents. So this three is going to stay the same, I'm just going to keep it, and I'm going to add the two exponents together. Two plus eight equals ten. So my answer would be three to the tenth power. When it's a division problem, we are going to keep the base, and this time we're going to subtract the exponents. So I'm going to keep that seven and five minus three equals two. Okay, let's move on to our next rule. So our next rule, we are looking for problems that have the same exponent, but different bases. All right, let's see what we can find here. I need the same exponent, but I need different bases. Okay, we already used this one, so let's cross that off. Um, no. Oh, here we go, look at this. We've got the same exponent, right? They both have an exponent of three, but the bases are different. So that'll be one we copy down. Let's write that here. 15 to the third power, divide it by three to the third power. Alrighty, um, I'm looking for different bases, same exponent. Oh, here's another one over here. So this time we have six to the second power times three to the second power. All right, so hopefully you realize that we have different bases, right? A six and a three, but the same exponent. And for the division problem, we have different bases, 15 and three, but we have the same exponent. All right, here's our rule. Now this time when we multiply them, we are going to multiply the bases and keep the exponent. So six times three is 18, and I'm just going to keep that exponent. And then for the division problem, 15 divided by 3 is 5, and I'm just going to keep that exponent, right? So it looks like we're keeping the thing that they have in common, right? For these first two examples, the thing they had in common was the base, and that's what we were keeping. And for the second two examples, the thing they had in common was the exponent, and that's what we were keeping, right? So keep the thing that they have in common. All right, so we did this one. I'm just going to cross off the ones that we did already. All right, here we go, the zero property. This is kind of strange for some people to understand, but here's the rule. Any number that is raised to the zero power equals one. So let's look up here and let's find an expression that has an exponent of zero, which would be 11 to the zero power, and I'm gonna write it down, 11 to the zero power. Any time you have a number to the zero power, it just equals one. That's it. Doesn't matter what the number is, how big, how small, positive, negative, doesn't matter what it is. Once you see that exponent of zero, it equals one. 
All right, the last one is the power to a power rule, right? And the power to a power is when you have like an exponent and another exponent right up against each other. So that would be our last example right here that we haven't done yet. So we have nine to the third power to the fourth power. All right, so this rule is we are going to keep the base. So we're gonna keep that nine and we are going to multiply the exponents. Three times four is 12. And the reason is because this means that we have nine to the third power multiplied to itself four times, right? So if I were to write that down here, right? Nine to the third times nine to the third times nine to the third times nine to the third, right? See all those nine to the thirds there? If I were to stretch it out like this, then I would just be following our first rule where we have the same base. 9, 9, 9, and 9, I would keep the base because it's the same. Add the exponents, 3, 6, 9, 12. There it is. Okay, we don't have to stretch it out like this. We just remember the rule that whenever we have a power taken to another power, we're going to keep the base and we're going to multiply the exponents. All right, so these are our four rules today. So on the next set of problems, right, we've got a set of problems here for you to try. Um, stop the video at this point and see if you can apply these rules and figure out the answers to all of these problems. And then when you're ready, press play again and we'll check the answers together. Okay, hopefully you took the time to figure out the answers on your own or at least try to. So let's see how you did. All right, this first problem right here, we have the same base and different exponents. So I'm going to keep that base, which is 4. And since it's multiplication, I'm going to add those exponents. And the answer will be 4 to the fifth power. Let's go down. Any number to the 0 power, 1. My next example, this time I have different bases, but I have the same exponent. It's multiplication. So the rule is we multiply the bases, which would be 8, and we're going to keep that exponent. Remember, we're keeping what they have in common, right? For the first example, they had the 4 in common, so we kept that. And for the third example, they had the exponent in common, so we kept that. All right, this next example, 3 to the second to the third, that's a power to a power right there. So we are going to keep the base, which is 3, and we are going to multiply the exponents, 2 times 3, equals 6. This next example, we've got different bases and the same exponent, right? So we're going to keep the thing they have in common, which is the exponent, and we're going to divide these bases. 12 divided by 4 is 3, and we keep the exponent. Okay, moving on. So we've got 4 to the 5th to the 0. This is a power to a power right here. So I'm going to multiply these exponents. I'm going to keep the base, which is 4, and 5 times 0 is 0, but any number to the 0 power equals what? 1. Okay, next example. Different bases, same exponent. Keep the thing they have in common. We're going to keep that exponent because they share that in common. Multiply the bases. 9 times 3 is 27, and we're going to keep the 4. Moving on, 10 to the 3rd divided by 10 to the 7th. They've got the same base and different exponents. It's a division problem. So we are going to keep the base, which is 10, because that's what they share, and we are going to subtract the exponents. Now be careful with this, because you have to subtract from left to right. So it's going to give us a negative number, but that's okay. 3 minus 7 is negative 4. Next example, different bases, same exponent. So the rule is multiply the bases, because it's a multiplication problem, and keep the exponent, 12 to the fifth. 17 to the zero power equals what? One, right? Any number to the zero power is one. Okay, six to the third to the sixth, we have a power to a power. We're gonna keep the base, multiply those exponents, six to the 18th. Now this one, be tricky with this one. I mean, be careful with this one because this plain old 13 right here really has a little one, right? Don't forget about that exponent. Same base, different exponents, multiplication problem. We're gonna keep the base, which is 13, 
and I'm going to add those exponents. 6 plus 1 is 7. Make sure you don't forget about that plain 13 there. It has an exponent even though we don't need to write it. Power to a power. Keep the base. Multiply the exponents. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. Next one, look at this, everything's the same, right? Division problem. So we can keep the base, which would be 9, subtract the exponents because it's a division problem. 5 minus 5 is 0, and that's going to equal 1, right? Any number to the 0 power is 1. Last example, same base, different exponents, division problem. When it's the same base but different exponents, we're going to keep the base. We're going to subtract these exponents because it's division, and that will give us 7 to the 6th power. All right, hopefully that helps you to understand the rules of exponents. There are more that we're going to learn in the next lesson, um, but these are the first four. If you need any help, please reach out to your teacher, and see you next time.